Hey guys, so I just got finished trying on the spacesuits at Final Frontier Designs and I have a lot of questions um, to answer for you guys. So one of them a lot of people have been asking me is how did I even manage to get into this NASA spacesuit facility to try on some of the spacesuits that have been worn um, by astronauts that have gone to the International Space Station and for astronauts that are going to be going to Mars. Well, it all started when I was at Congress in Washington, D.C. Uh, one of my colleagues um, was looking up what NASA has been doing in Brooklyn. The reason for that is we were meeting with Congresswoman Yvette Clark, um, and we ended up finding out about NASA's Centennial Challenge and this company, Final Frontier Designs, that won that challenge. for their space glove technology, um, and NASA ended up working with them now, their partners, to make some of the spacesuits. So what ended up happening was I liked their Facebook page, and immediately after that, I got a message from the designer himself, uh, Nicolai, and he asked me if I wanted to come try on spacesuit. So I was like, of course, um, I guess <laughs> I'm not gonna say no to that. Um, so that's how I ended up there today. So I tried on one of the spacesuits. It weighed about 15 pounds. It was so movable. It was like actually really comfortable. Um, and it was really interesting because it had a pressurizer. So the first thing that happened was I got into it. There was multiple layers that I can't actually talk about. Um, but the exterior, at least, was made of a polyurethane coated uh, nylon material. The reason for this is nylon is quite inexpensive. And on top of which, the polyurethane coating actually acts as kind of like a reinforced shield. So it can withstand really high forces without actually a, a hole forming, which is really important because it's happened before where um, astronauts will be operating in space or on, a, on the space station and it's, it's very dangerous if a hole was to form because you're in a vacuum and then all of a sudden all your oxygen comes out of your oxygen tank and then you're dead. So um, very important for it to be extremely durable like this. The next thing is lightweight just helps a lot with mobility. Somebody asked me about what exactly we can do to help astronauts get more adjusted to the gravity on different planets, unlike the gravity that we have here on Earth. So if you guys have ever watched a movie or maybe done a simulation, um, the gravity on the moon is a lot different than on Earth. And on Mars, it's about 30% the gravity of the Earth. Um, so you'll actually feel lighter. So when you're walking around on the surface of Mars, you'll have a bit of a bounce going you know, until you actually touch the surface again, just from trying to walk. You're not even jumping or, or purposely trying to skip. Uh, so to help out with this is mass, added mass onto the spacesuit. So there's two different kinds of spacesuit. One is called EVA, one is called IVA. And those just differentiate between what exactly you're going to be doing in space. So um, one of them is 300 pounds and the other one will be more like 15 pounds, like what I was wearing. Um, what helps, I know there's a big difference between weight and mass. Your weight does change when you're on the planet. However, the mass does not change. So the suit I was wearing was like 15 pounds. It actually was, you know, it was, it was lightweight, but it still had added weight. So for me to kind of move around, I did feel more pulled down into Earth's gravity. However, if I am on Mars, um, which if I wasn't in any spacesuit, I'd feel super light. But if I'm in a spacesuit that has added mass, it can ground me a bit more um, and have uh, the gravity of Mars pull on me a bit more. So it actually feels like I'm walking more similarly to walking on Earth. Got some more footage coming out because I was actually playing with some of the space gloves in a vacuum. I was playing with a Rubik's Cube and I will get into the details about that when my video comes out. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye guys.